this evening, um, it's very timely that uh, when I heard that my friend and brother and teacher um, <laughs> and one of my favorite rappers, uh, Brother Ali, was going to be here, Mustafa and I talked about him sharing the space with us. And as a fan of his and a student of his lyrics, I know that his uh, experience to Hajj was profound. And I say that with no uh, pretense or with no exaggeration. And so I asked Brother Ali to join me. And after I say a few words, which you are now going to not be interested in, because you know that he's going to talk after me. But I would invite you to just humor me and, and uh, pretend like what I'm saying is worth something. And then he will offer us some reflections on his personal journey. Hajj is, for me, is a really interesting thing, and we all have our own stories, and all of our Hajj stories, there's literally not a Hajj story that's not a miracle, I believe that. I became Muslim, mashallah, when I was 15, uh, and like so many converts, I read the autobiography of Malcolm X, and it was a wrap. For all of us that convert, we want to be Malcolm, and uh, we should all want to be very, may Allah give us the Islam of Malcolm. Um, you know, we, and we see the Hajj as being the thing that really completed him and the thing that made him ready and, and finished, that he finished his mission. And he came back from the Hajj and he declared all of these wonderful, beautiful things. For me, the per person that gave me permission to make Hajj was um, Sidi Sheikh Amir Suleiman, the greatest living poet in the English language. Um, he made Hajj. And he came back and he said, Akhi, you have to make Hajj. And he said, it's my duty to facilitate you making Hajj. It's my, so he was like, I'm on a mission to, to, for you to go to Hajj, because I went there. And it changed him. I got on the plane, and I remember that we were all making our intentions uh, for the Hajj. And I thought to myself, like, I'm just not feeling this at all. I have zero feeling about this. It's not. I don't think that, you know, I don't, I'm, I'm sure that I'm a Muslim and I'm sure that I believe in God, uh, but I'm not feeling this at all. And so when everybody made their intention, my dua was, Allah, I need you to make me feel what this is. I need this to be what it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Because at this particular moment, I feel very far from everything. I feel distant from anything that means anything. And so I really need that to be the case. So we went. And I walked into the harem and looked at the Kaaba and literally nothing happened. I had no, I was completely numb. And I was wondering to myself, um, I just really doubted myself and everything about, I really felt very low at that moment. And I was standing right next to her when we came into the harem. And so I had seen it and I looked at her and she has really big eyes. And I just saw tears just fall from the, pit of who she is as a human being out of her it poured out of her and I looked at her and I was like why can't I why don't I believe like that what's why come I don't have that and then I, I saw in my mind very clearly I saw my daughter's face mm. my daughter had been born in between me saying that and this and then I opened my eyes and saw the kappa and it, it just melted and um it occurred to me that everything that I had explicitly asked for, I've received everything, with no exception.